Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Primal Nerds Theme Team Thursdays. Now, last week we brought you some Teen Titans, Teen Titans Go S with a, a super rare, a bunch of, uh, or a few actual uncommons, most of them are commons, but a really cool, versatile team that can really just take it to the house. Well, we bring to you again another team that's actually very easy to build because all three of these figures are all commons and most likely you're going to get all there's no reason why you shouldn't and that's going to be team trinity that is superman batman and wonder woman you guys know them they're the holy trinity of anything justice league of any kind especially when it comes to dc so why not showcase them and see what this team can do because let me tell you they're going to be bringing the pain so make sure to stay tuned and see what team trinity can bring for you All right, first off, we're going to bring to you the basics of Team Trinity, which is the three trio, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. But we're going to start off with Batman. Batman comes in at 75 point line. He's already got charge, top dial. He's got some combat reflexes and perplex, which is great. That's just your normal Batman. He's got the Batman team ability or family ability where he gets stealth. But the cool thing is, is since he has the team player ability, he also gets to choose the abilities of his teammates that are on his team. So you're looking at Superman ally. You're looking at the Wonder Woman keyword. Like, So that means you're getting improved targeting, hindering, and you're also getting a pseudo super senses. Pretty dang good, man. Let me tell you. But on top of that, he also has a rally die. So... On all attack rolls, if you roll a three, remove one of Batman's rally dice to choose a friendly character within range and line of fire until your next turn. The chosen character has safeguard opposing perplex. So that means your opponent can't bring down your attack, can't bring down your defenses, it's basically nerfing your opponent's opposing perplex, which, you know, it... most of the time perplex is used to boost your characters up, not so much about turning down an enemy unless they're trying to team up on one like superman for instance he's got a large defense so you want to bring that down so it makes sense so that's a really cool ability for batman not to mention like i said getting to use the other team's uh abilities next up we're going to go with wonder woman wonder woman is everybody's favorite amazonian just just kicking butt and taking names with a golden lasso so she's also coming in at 75 point lines. She also has a rally die, which is for opposing attack rolls on a six. So free, remove one of Wonder Woman's rally dice to heal a friendly character within range one click. So this pseudo support, that's technically, it's free. That's awesome. So if you can, uh, honestly, if your opponent's been rolling sixes, you're going to have a lot of these on there. But not to mention too, she's also got Lasso of Truth ability. With a giant reach of three and Quake, when Wonder Woman hits after resolutions, hit targets can't use damage powers until your next turn. Goodbye, Perplex. Goodbye, Outwit. Goodbye, Leadership. That is a really good ability to have on a team this small, just taking away abilities that just make the, uh, the opponent even better. And then, again, using the Wonder Woman uh, team ability, that pseudo super senses then you can also make her stealth you can make her to where she's actually targeting and hindering really really cool uh duo right there finally we've got superman now we're first going to go over the superman that all of you will have and then i'm going to get into something a little different after this so let's start off with superman he's going to be coming in at his 150 point line which brings your trinity team to 300 points even he also has a rally die of friendly attack rolls on rolls of one. Remove one of Superman's rally dice to remove an action token from a friendly character within range. Awesome. A pseudo leadership ability that you don't even have to roll for. I love it. Then he also has an ability called Arctic Breath. When Superman hits with a ranged attack, choose one to last until your next turn. A hit target can't use stop or a hit target gains immobile. So right there, it's already situational. That is a terrific ability to have, especially on a common. Putting these all together, again, he's got stealth now. He's also got the Wonder Woman team ability. I mean, this is really, really cool because every one of them benefits from this. And then with him starting off at 10 charge, 12 attack, 18 defense with invincible, and four with close combat expert, 
brutal, brutal common piece for you right there. Now that we've gone through the normal commons that all of you will end up getting, we're going to go into two extra things that make this team really, really cool and will make this really fun to use. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the team up card for Superman. Why am I using the team up card for Superman? Because he's got the team up Batman Wonder Woman uh, trait. If a listed friendly character is on the map and Superman uses Rally, to choose a character with the Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman team ability, the chosen character removes all tokens instead. That is awesome. So he's already using the Rally die to take off a token. Now he's actually doing it within range. He's taking them all away. This is just giving you more bang for your buck. And you don't even have to, it doesn't even cost you anything extra. It's just a team up card. That's awesome. Finally, to round it all off, we're going to do a mystery card. This mystery card is the man who laughs. Keywords are Batman family and detective. And every one of these has Batman family. So let's see what that does. The clue effect is Gotham Knights. When a friendly character with a listed keyword occupying hindering terrain hits one or more characters after resolutions, gain one clue token. Suspect three. When a friendly character attacks, opposing characters can't use mastermind. Okay. Case closed, nine. When a friendly character would take damage, damage if it's not from an attack roll if it's not from an attack roll roll a d6 four through six they take no damage instead so let's look at um mystic's team ability uh let's look at poison uh, along the lines of something like that those are things that don't come from an attack roll they are something that just happens to your character so this is a great team to go up against a Mystics team, uh, a Poison team, like against like Poison Ivy and such like that. This would be a really, really cool card to have. It doesn't cost anything extra to put on the team, so I figured, why not? I have the card. It works for the team. I think it gives them a little more staying power. Really, really cool team of just commons. The Trinity team, commons. Check it out. It's really cool. This is one that you can actually split the team up and each one of them does their own damage. You've got Wonder Woman and Superman flying through, this, flying through the air, hitting opponents straight to the face. you got Batman from the shadows just, just dishing it out. This is a really cool, versatile team for just three characters and three characters who are common. You roll the whole gambit of Rally Die. This team is going to be unstoppable in the right hands. If there is something else you'd like to see added to this team or something that needs to change this team, let me know what you think. How would you run this team? How would you go with it? Would you actually use a different mystery card or a team-up card? Or just a different uh, click altogether? A different Batman from a different set? What would you guys do? Comment below and let me know. And if you guys like what you see and you want to see more, like, subscribe, tickle that bell notification so you don't miss any more episodes from us. And as always, later nerds.